Hey guys, Ben here with 9to5Google, and today we're kicking off a new series here on the channel, Great Android Apps. Once per month, we'll feature five or so Android apps that we've enjoyed using and that you might also want to give a shot. So let's go ahead and take a look at our picks for the month of June. So first, we're going to talk about a brand new Twitter application called Flamingo. Now this new app released earlier on this month on Android, and while it is still on beta, it is one of the best looking Twitter apps we've seen to date. It comes from the same developer behind the popular weather timeline app, and features an excellent material design UI, which is also highly customizable. You can change the color theme and even the UI elements used, including floating action buttons, bottom navigation bars, and more. Flamingo also supports features like Chrome custom tabs and a 3D touch-like feature that allows you to preview profiles and images in your timeline. Now this is without a doubt one of the best Twitter apps we've seen in the past several months, so I would highly recommend giving it a shot. It costs just 99 cents on Google Play. Another great app that we'd like to talk about is Slash Keyboard. Now this one has been around for a while, but it got a lot of attention last month following Google's announcement of Gboard for iOS. Slash performs several of the same functions while adding even more. Now you can hit the Slash key to perform and send searches from Google, you can also find GIFs and much more. It integrates with services such as YouTube, Giphy, Spotify, Google Maps, Twitter, and even Amazon. One thing to note, however, is that this keyboard does not support swipe gestures, but if you are interested in checking it out, it's available on both Android and iOS for free. Now, after the crash and burn of the popular ES File Explorer over the past several months, I've been on the hunt for a solid file explorer for Android, and the one I've recently settled on is FX File Explorer. The app features a material design inspired UI with all the features that I need. This might not be the best option for power users, but it gets the job done when it comes down to it. Best of all, the app is free and there are no ads. You can also support the developers by picking up FX Plus, which is about $1.99, and it also adds a lot of features as well. Next up is easily my favorite app from this list, Pluggy. Now this app mimics the Giphy command that is found on the popular Slack messaging service, but it makes it available for any app, whether that's Hangouts, SMS, or anything else. Simply type slash Giphy, add a phrase, and then add a semicolon at the end. The app will then pick a random GIF based on that phrase from Giphy's library and add a link to it in your chat. The app is completely free to download on Google Play and you can learn more about it on our website in the written companion to this video. Now the last app we'll feature this month is called Radon. Now this app uses Google's nearby API to share content with nearby devices. Now simply download the app on the devices you'd like to use it with, give it the needed permissions at launch, and you're good to go. From there on out, the system sharing dialog will add Radon and then the app can send the link to the content that you're trying to share with any nearby devices that have the app open and it will automatically open the link on that device. Now Radon is also free to download on Google Play. So that'll do it for this month's picks. If you're interested in checking out any of these apps, download links will be found in the written piece for this video over on 9to5google.com. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos that are coming soon. Also, drop a comment down below and let us know if you have any apps that you'd like to see featured. Once again, I'm Ben with 9to5google. Thanks for watching.